Hey y'all, okay, so I am making a Barbie doll from a Barbie doll house from scratch using cardboard. Now, in this tutorial, I'm teaching you how to make the floor. Now, I previously did half of it. You can show on this side. I did half of it already to show you how it's going to look. And it's going to be a hardware floor. And I wanted it more realistic instead of doing a vinyl. So, what you'll need to get this look is popsicle sticks. Now, I went to my local Hobby Lobby and got popsicle sticks. They were $2.99. Um, I got about nine to ten packs just to be on the safe side just this little piece i use a whole i use two of these so it looks like it's nothing but you're going to need a lot of popsicle sticks all right so once you have your popsicle sticks they're going to come round like this they're going to come round you need to cut off the tips to make it an even line so you don't want it to be curved anymore you want it to be you want to cut each tip and to do that you just need your scissors. Mine's is a little dull. Hopefully y'all's not. And just clip each end. You will need glue gun, glue sticks, board, of course, a plywood board, or you can use um, cardboard. And take your glue stick and put some glue. Take your glue gun and put some glue on one line. Now you'll have to do this a little quick because the glue do dry. And kind of try to keep your sticks as closely as possible. Like that. Now, once you get to the end, once you get to the end, it will go off of the board. But that is okay. Because you then will take your scissors and cut it. Try to get it as closely as possible because you really don't want gaps. Okay, so once you finish, it will have a doll look. I didn't want it to be doll. I kind of shined it up. So you'll need more part. And I went with a gloss finish. And what you'll do with that is, it's like glue. So you'll take a paintbrush. Kind of get one. You'll take a, and I'm just going to do the first layer that we just laid down. Just to give you an idea of how to do it. You'll take your Mod Pod, dip it, and it's like you painting. This brush is a little hard because I just previously used it last night. So, it got hard on me, but you get the memo of what to do. Take a paintbrush and just paint over top of it back and forth. Allow it to dry, and once it dry, it'll give a shine finish. If you can get a little close, you can probably see the shine on it. Okay, so... After you complete that step, because this is a dollhouse, um, it's a dollhouse one bedroom apartment. It's not going to be so big and it's not kind of so small. So, in my bathroom, I wanted my floor to be a little bit different from the actual whole house. So, I went and got a uh, cardstock paper from, again, Hobby Lobby. And what you'll do with that paper is place that in the corner, wherever you want your bathroom to be. I want mine to be on the left side of my home. So, walking into my door, my door will be over here. I know it's kind of like, it's just a plywood, but it's an image in my head. So, my door will be over here. This is the living room space, kitchen. Then you have the bathroom upstairs is my bedroom. So, yeah. So, take whatever plywood, I mean, mm, whatever car stock of your choice. Place it where you want it. Take your glue gun and glue it down. And this piece, it was only $2. And I think it's 50% off. So, that was kind of good. Okay, so place it down. However you want. Try to get it as flat as possible. If you have to lift it up and do it again, do that. Okay. So then, with the pieces that you cut evenly on each end, you want to take your glue, you want to glue around it with your hardwood floor like this 
And this will have um, a wall built to divide these pieces. Okay, so when you get to this angle, you want to keep the same pattern that you got from up here. So because your sticks go this way, you don't want to turn and make them start going that way because that makes the pattern a little different. You want all of them to equal out. So you align all of your sticks going this way. So it will look like this. Okay, so um, you do have to glue this whole board using popsicle sticks. And once I do that, I will come back and show you the finishing product. Okay, y'all, excuse the mess because it got real messy in here. Um, I'm all done. I did not mop part the rest of the floor. And you can kind of see where the mop part is and it isn't. Right from this angle on up, it's shiny. Everywhere else is dull. I'm not sure if this camera is giving you that effect. Let me try to lift it up so you can see. Can you see? Okay, that's way better. All right, so you see the shininess? And I do got a few gaps, but it's okay because hallway floors is not perfect. And this is shiny. And down here is not. You can kind of see where it's dull at. But anyway, I am done. Um, before I mop part the whole thing, I want to cover the front end that will be shown. The back end won't be shown, so I'm not really worried about doing that to over there. But you see how uneven, how ugly it is? That's fine. Because what you're going to do is take that same stick and place it on the edge, just like that. So you wanna put glue here, push, just like that. And then when you're done, you wanna glue over top of here just to kinda of connect it. Then once you do that whole thing, then you want to go ahead and mop it. 